Types of corny people. Let's see what this shit is about. Come on. <laughs> to be these types of people in life there's just too many things we don't have control over where you're born your parents the weather or if your favorite rapper wants to wear a thong but one of the few things we do have control over is the way we act the way we act has such a big impact on our lives it affects our well-being our relationships and your overall success in life so it seems like how you act is pretty important right right but there are some people out there who just act in a way that makes every fiber of my being cringe into a and today we're gonna talk about them types of corny people or types of cringy people people that grind my gears whatever i decide to title the video first up on the list we got the black guy who only likes white girls oh. let me tell you niggas something about that right i know one nigga one specific nigga like that bro you're a c double o n you're the epiphany of slavery. You're the definition of slavery, bro. That nigga, I cannot stand, bro. I cannot stand that, bro. And it's like you have a black mom. Like your mom gave birth to you, had you for nine months just for you to look at her. Like, that's not my type. <laughs> what are you talking about? Have you seen yourself in a mirror, nigga? You look like the dark night, bro. You look like fucking 12 o'clock a.m. Like, nigga, you're black. Just because she looked black. Listen, black ghetto girls, I get it. I can't stand them. I can't stand them. But, like, only liking one race. Like, I like all flavors, chat. I, I'm, you, I'm suddenly getting used to the melanated, you know? I love my black woman. But I could, I love vanilla ice cream, too. My favorite color is vanilla. I mean, my favorite color. My favorite flavor is vanilla ice cream. I could take some of that. We got mango. I could get some of that. We got butter pecan. I could get some of that. We got strawberry. I could get some of that. Like I, I like you know. You feel me? Or but not no one man for short. Now before anyone, not thinks, one, I'm just bro, gonna throw everything black guy who thinks every black person is always a victim in every situation. Black people can't do no wrong in any situation, and black people created everything since the beginning of time. No, we'll talk about those clowns later in the video. So stay tuned. Ah, the milkman. Now this player type usually has two archetypes. They spawned in the same color as Mr. Popo. I'm guilty. Or they've been an NBA and NFL prospect since high school. And most of them get drafted. They make up about 90% of both leagues. Like, come on, black athletes don't date black women. That's why it's so celebrated when one finally does. And then they gain a cult fan base of bitter, lonely women in the shade room comments. <laughs> I mean, those type of those type of those type of black niggas are weird, bro. Like those type of niggas are weird. And it's ain't that crazy though? Like I praise my one and glorious king, LeBron James, because he's dating a beautiful black woman. Like, W's to him. <laughs> but then you got a fucking black Kunta Kente having that ass nigga named Joel Embiid. You know, the biggest African of all time. Dating a French girl, whatever the fuck she's from, bro. She's like the color of milk. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but my nigga, come on, bro. Get into your roots, nigga. So while Make more Joel and Beats, nigga. Clip, we need that. Use for this segment. And here it is. Hey, you ran into like, bro? What's your type? You like black, white? I like white girls more better. Okay. Yo. So Especially in a thick time. That's what I'm talking about. No, this nigga's name is fucking Roger. I guarantee you that. His name is fucking yeah, Roger. the words pod. Pod. That's what I like. Yeah, yeah. Hey, say that bit again. Say it one more time. I'll say it slow. Pog, P A W G, badass white girls. I thought it was perfect ass white girl. Wow. So I've been saying it wrong my whole time. Wow. I thought it was perfect ass white girl. I never thought it was fat ass. I mean, yeah, I forgot. Like niggas, niggas say fat with a F H because they're idiots. I never, I, I didn't know no, that. About. It's something about this dude that reminds me of Johnny Bravo. It's the haircut. It's the haircut. I'm not gonna lie. You can just look at him. You can tell he does not like black girls. Speaking of looks, I decided to look up his name into Google. Same as Roger. I ended up stumbling on his Twitter. And um, I'll let you guys see for yourself. Some of these. Some of these chicks don't deserve me. These chicks Joshua. don't deserve me. He looks like okay, a Joshua. self-aware king. Right. In life, especially as a guy, you're gonna realize some girls just don't deserve you. If these women want a king, they best not miss. Hashtag hog king okay confident confidence will take you a long way especially if you don't know what you're doing kind of like how i lost my virgin only time up with a chick if she got something to offer more than me now my boy joshua you may not be one of these dudes but every dude that says this never has anything to offer i swear he niggas like him 
They should have been bullied a long time. Like, listen, I don't condone bullying. I don't condone cyberbullying. But we need it. We need it. I'm, I'm first to admit it. We need it. You feel me? If there's a dude who's obviously watching anime and doing anime runs in the middle of the hallway, you have to put your foot in so he could trip, bust his ass, realize, you know, so his self-consciousness could start up, bro. Because I realized some niggas, you see how you niggas could be playing fucking uh, 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 My Little Pony or whatever the fuck y'all be playing, and then all of a sudden you're here, like your consciousness just starts up. Some niggas in the world don't even have that, bro. Like, that's actually crazy. Like, my girlfriend, she doesn't even dream. I'm like, how the fuck can you not dream? And she doesn't have the, the voice inside your head. Like, you know, when you're thinking out loud, you can hear the voice. She's like, no, I don't have that. So I'm like, what are you, a fucking robot? Like, wh wh what do you have? Like, are you just a walking, a walking battery, nigga? Like, how the fuck do you not have somebody talking in your head? And how the fuck... Do you not dream when you sleep? I don't understand that. Like, I'm 21, bro, and I be having the most wildest dreams ever. And it's about, like, you got to have a little bit of consciousness, bro. And some of these anime geeks, Joshua, you know, nerds, they, they might have to be, you know, a little bit punched in the face, wedgy and stuff. And the ones who talk like you this need that. usually watch you need a that. certain podcast. Y'all bitches wish y'all would have fucked me. Same goes for the Pogs and Chungus. Hashtag Pog Nation. I don't know what's a Chunga. Mm, chat, what's a Chunga? Y'all know what's a Chunga? What the fuck is a Chunga? I don't want to search that up. Let me let me, let me me search up a Chunga. I hope it's not disrespectful, bro. I be having the ones where you falling from the sky. I haven't had those in a minute. I haven't had those in a minute. What's a Chunga? A girl of Hispanic origin. Usually between the ages of 12 and 19, but sometimes as young as 8. Alright, bro. Get the fuck out of here, bro. I ain't never heard that slang in a minute. That gotta be like a, you know. He may be too far gone. Believe it or not, people, modern dating. Oh, God, he watches Fresh and Fit. Like, why do you call it modern date? You can call it anything else. Anything modern dating. Modern dating. Like, come on, bro. Scientifically, I need top. Muscle emoji 100, 100. Look, man, the post is probably meant to be ironic, but Jesus, he just proves my point more and more. Be lame. Bitches be so lame as fuck, couldn't squeeze a nut out of me. Nigga, you went to this nigga's like personal fucking information? Then he follows up with the tweet. You look like a James or John? What do you mean by that? How do you. James or John? Why? Why those two names? Why those two names? A uh, James and a John. Why? Why James and John? Why not like Tyrone or or Richard or or, or Jackson or Jeremiah or a Jaquavius uh, or Octavius? Cause you're basic. All right, don't nigga. Your name is. You know what, bro? I'm not gonna do you like that. I don't know James Fisher. Of course, Fitcher. they can't get a nut out of you. I know. I know. Give you the chance. I know. Earlier in the video, I said there was only two archetypes, but we bought some got DLC it. and we got a new archetype, the Joshua Henderson archetype. These guys don't mean no harm. They're just misguided. I actually got Connie Rosie to pretty much sum up the mindset of most of these dudes. Now, I know some of y'all are wondering how did I get Connie Rosie to feature in my video. You're asking too many questions. A lot of black men hate themselves, so they project. Their what the fuck is the hype with this shorty? What's the hype with her? Y'all know what the fuck is the hype with her? What's so, what's so fucking amazing about Connie Rosie? What's, what's, so, what's, so, what's so fun about it? I, 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 what's so cool about it? She's not like, bro. Like y'all niggas is, I mean, I mean, I, I'm guessing the 13 year olds are the ones feeding for her, bro. But she's like, is she? A, yeah, I know she's a Twitch streamer. She's a Twitch streamer. But oh, uh, uh, Nadia better. I swear to God, it's a phase, bro. It's like a like a like a genuine fucked up phase that I don't I don't even think some men get out of. So that's why like a lot of um a lot of black men that perceive themselves that way they end up dating like white women or shit like that to all my black men who think like this listen no, sir. Up. not all black girls are hood princesses they all don't have a strict diet of hot cheetos and pickled eggs they don't all have like this 
there are black girls who are just chill they oh just my god there. sky jackson listen listen something about sky jackson i i wish like i can't i would never like smash her because i watched her in jesse and she was like three you feel me you feel me like sky jackson is is way all right you see is this what i'm talking about she looks bad at 12 like nah nah but she looks great now though i ain't gonna lie sky jackson looks like a mm, mm, uh, number two on the list crispy. you got stan pages stan pages be way too deep in your whole existence in life is to see what someone else is doing with their life they're all unnoticed cheerleaders like did you try to do something with your life before you gave it up to someone else a I stan page barbs swifties and duke dennis fans for them oh all. my fucking god thank you i'm very happy that he mentioned that bro <laughs> Let me ask y'all niggas a question, right? Who here is like above 16? Because I promise you, bro, niggas 13 and below think Duke Dennis is like Moses. And it's like, bro, get off the dick. Get off the tip. Get it off of you, bro. You don't even know what you like. You don't even know what you like, bro. I seen a video i seen like a little short clip duke dennis was doing like i think skiing or whatever little white boy he asked a little white boy he's like what, what what what's your favorite music little white boy said whatever whatever music you listen to what what the fuck what does that mean what does that mean bro like nigga i don't even think i don't even think a justin bieber fan from back in the day would be feeling like that bro That nigga has no father. I guarantee you that, bro. That nigga has no father. I guarantee you the only reason he knows Duke Dennis is because his mother secretly watches Duke Dennis because, you know, he's black, sexy, BBC. Little nigga just admiring what his mom likes, you know? Maybe he swing that way. But it's like, you, you don't know your favorite song. You don't have a favorite song. You don't have a favorite song at, at nine years old. I had a favorite song at nine years old. I had a favorite song. I had a favorite song. This little nigga don't have a favorite song because he's too infatuated with Duke Dennis's looks. And it's like, let's calm down the 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 horse gobbling, the meat riding. Duke Dennis is a thirty year old man. Why is a ten year old boy so infatuated with the fact that? He has no idea what the... Yeah, Kai said that too. Speed. Like, imagine. Imagine, bro. Speed is like... Speed is... Speed is what? 19, 20? Speed asks a seven-year-old boy, what you, what you like to do? A uh, skibbity bop, a uh, riz, uh, watch your streams, do nothing. Like, what the fuck? Nigga, I went on an Uber. I was on an Uber. I was on an Uber, bro. Mind you, I think this dude was like maybe 24, 25. He was driving me home, obviously, because he's an Uber, watching a Kai Sinat stream. I've never, ever seen a person, IRL, watch a Kai Sinat stream. Ever. I was like, this nigga's watching Kai Sinat? What the fuck? Like, I'm not hating, but it's like, really? Most Kai Sinat's that mainstream? And stand accounts. Before y'all send the SWAT team, could y'all send the pizza first? You know, kind of ease me into it. Next up on the list, we have the virtual signaler. You could also call this person a person who always has the right opinion. They're super PC. They never have like any sort of controversial opinion. It's like they're always trying to say the right thing because they're kind of scared. Facts. To, like, scare you away. Their favorite rapper. I really fell for that. I'm such a pussy ass nigga. I knew the ball was going to happen. And I still flinched. Bro, I'm a bitch, bro. Their favorite football player is Tom Brady. Their favorite basketball player is LeBron. They're just literal NPCs. Their personalities feel so fake and like disingenuous. And I can't be the only one who thinks like when someone's just really nice, I just think they want something. Like, all right, what you want, bro? Like, I'd rather you just say what you want than like kiss my ass trying to get what you want, you know? It's like, what do you want? Just say, you want my Twitch sub? You want my YouTube subscription? You want my vote so you can be the ruler of the free world? Just hey, this nigga, bro. Next up on the list, we got the pro black everything person. This person will stuff blackness down your throat like you was a porn star. They're usually always wearing a tashiki. They're always saying like brother, sister. 
Like, who just unironically talks like that? Master don't got you by the chain no more, man. You can be free. They'll give you a million reasons why you should go to HBCU and not a PWI. Even though they both do the same thing at the end of the day, HBCUs are just labeled different. Like, oh my gosh, black people included. And then people just eat it up. Like, wow, black people. Oh, oh I have to support it now. They just want you to blindly support anything that's black related. I'm going to stand on that. blind support for any and everything <laughs> black. This shit is fucking stop. crazy. When black lives matters got that's insane mine a six million dollar mansion because you know a six million dollar mansion just screams oppression next on the list we got the fake church girl everyone's seen this archetype before she'll have god first in her bio she'll have her favorite bible quote right under that bible quote she's gonna have her link tree now the link yep. tree is 50 50 she'll either be a super wholesome person or she could be the second coming of mia khalifa jesus christ Phylon myers I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Spam ones in the chat, y'all. Fuck that, cause I'm I no like no amount of me would 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 touch that, bro. No what? amount. That is no amount. Fun of clicking the link tree. I can't lie. They're constantly reposting motivational quotes, and always be some dumb stuff like, "In life, you'll never have to question what's really meant for you," and they'll eat it up every single time and i'll just lump up this group with the fake church girl the party girls like the girls who always feel like they have to be outside oh i can't gosh, stand bro. those type of girls bro jesus christ bro this nigga hasn't he hasn't mentioned the honorable mentions the hot cheeto girls is a generational thing that's a generation i, I think that's a generational thing that's also an ancestral thing bro i guarantee you in 1785 there was one heifer rolling around trying to get in in between masses pants how the fuck do you think light skins came into existence how do you think light skins came into existence it wasn't because it wasn't because of the not only because of the, you know you know the, the 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 worst thing that could ever happen to a woman but there had to be a couple couple little you know negroes negro woman to just swandle around her body for the you know the other man to Put in that work. How did like nigga? Guarantee you that, bro. I'm I'm actually it's crazy. We call them hoes, treeshes. Y'all call them bops. That's some bitch nigga shit. Call her a treesh. A treesh, not a bop. What the fuck is a bop? What the fuck is a bop? Give me a break, bro. Why are we getting soft? Let's get worse. Let's call her a fucking succubus, bro. Let's call her a fucking demon. You feel me? Call her fucking, I don't know, call her something else, bro, but don't call them a bop. Bop is too light. They can eat that. You feel me? You call a girl a treesh or a slut or a hoe, them bitches will have heart attacks back in the day now. 99 cents for it. Outside. Can't like stand those bitches. Can't stand them. Hate the them. Club. Like they were just Whore. born to smoke hookah and drink bottomless mimosas. Last on the list, we got these dudes right Oh here. my God, bro. Let me tell you niggas something, bro. I had one nigga like that in my school, bro. Oh, it's so disgusting just seeing a nigga like that, bro. He was Hispanic at that. He wasn't even white. This nigga will come around thinking he's like the main character of a fucking of a fucking TV show. Thinks he's in fucking Riverdale and shit, bro. And I will look at this nigga like, bro, what are you doing? Like niggas, niggas will be in Zoom. Niggas will be in Zoom, right? This was during COVID. Niggas was in Zoom, right? This nigga, obviously, bro, it has to be that one goofy looking nigga, bro. One stupid nigga who thinks the world revolves around him. Nigga was laying like this, like this legs out in the couch in the middle of the sun in puerto rico or a fucking cancun wherever the fuck he was from in a school meeting nigga it's 10 a.m who do you think you are it's 10 a.m it's 10 a.m niggas either in their rooms not showing the cameras or on mute this nigga over here flirting with the teacher and just kicking it out like it's nothing my nigga if you don't like live life Fuck is you doing answering a phone call like that? Or answering a Zoom meeting like that? Yes, I'm hating. Because, bro, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. We're locked down. You're outside. You're outside. I didn't want to see that, bro. I can't stand niggas like that, though. I really can't. And you know what's funny? The girl that you liked growing up would madly be in love with niggas like this. 
Like my penis ain't 11 inches bigger than them, bro. Yes, I look like a monkey, but I got a big one. These niggas don't. Like this shit is disgusting, bro. You call these dudes right here? E boys, F boys, G boys. Don't call them F boys, bro, cuz it's like that's I want to puke. That's not even an F boy. They're like Irrelevant, Her useless species, bro. I don't know. It can't be denied that these guys are the cringiest people on the internet. And they all have this same, like, haircut. Like, this, like, TikTok, broccoli, fade, perm. I don't know what the... Whatever you call it. Just, like, the Bible quotes and the motivational quotes. Yeah, girls just eat this shit. Facts. Up, I don't get it, like... Especially the Mex uh, the Mexican girls, bro. What's up with y'all, bro? You know you know what's the equivalent of the, of the, of the like, the frat boys? Edgar's tell me not tell me not an Edgar looking like that will have a bitch will have a a, a a Christina or a Sophia floundering her legs out bro because it's like bro are you kidding me an Edgar an Edgar an Edgar I can't stand Edgar's I can't stand you know pretty white boys i can't stand hood black people i can't stand thought girls i can't stand geeks i can't stand nerds i can't stand anything just be a human being bro that shit was just annoying i can't stand nothing i'll look to the side you got the nerds talking about uh league of legends smelling like hot sweat you got the hot cheeto girls yelling at seven o'clock in the morning talking about i slept with a 19 year old and she's 15 we got the pretty light skinned niggas flirting with every single girl. You got the hood niggas that you can't even look at because if you look at that hood nigga wrong, <laughs> you might get jumped by him and 17 of his friends and his prison uncle. Like, bro, I really hated high school. I really I'm very happy that I graduated high school and and like I'd never want to experience that again in my life, bro. Like I never never in my life. Well, say y'all don't, because if no one was consuming, they would can't not stand be niggas doing like this, that, bro. Hate, and it's not only hate the niggas, white boys bro. doing this either. They don't got the brothers too, man. Yeah, got the got the wannabe hoodlum niggas with the dreads. I know I got the brother community. Uh, I got half of the brother community right here doing it. Y'all niggas look stupid as fuck. Y'all niggas look stupid as shit, and y'all say fuck, nigga. Y'all say the same shit 300 times in a row. Y'all say the same shit. It's it's cringy. He's getting millions and millions of views. Like, who's watching this? <laughs> this is what y'all niggas like? I understand him. I understand him. But all the niggas before him? Stop it, bro. I want to throw up. This nigga is like, ugh. Did they just run a choo-choo? I'm done with this video, bro. I just want to say thank you to everyone who made it this far in the Disgusting, video. Disgusting, bro. Coming back next week with another Hate video. I think this next video might might put me on the map. Or it might get two views in one year. Only one way to find out. W fucking video, though. Can't even hate, bro.